Let's go to a simple example. Ito, simple lang talaga to. Find the period and frequency of a simple pendulum 1.000 meters long at a location where G is 9.8 meters per second squared. So uh, I'll just show you the solution in this problem. So again, um, I'll just show you the solution in this problem. What we just want here is the period and frequency of a simple pendulum. That is a meter long. <laughs> and dali -dali na to. So uh, kung alam formula, madali lang, syempre. So, so what, is the, um, what is the period of oscillation, P? So again, the length of the of the pendulum here is 1.000 meters. Therefore, what is the period? Ano lang yan? From the equation that I gave you in the previous video, this is just 2 pi square root of L over G, right? Tama? Tama? So I substitute my L equals 1.000 meters here, and I have 2 pi square root ng um, square root ng 1.000 meters divided by 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? And then after that, one can show that the period indeed is equal to 2.007 seconds. This is the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum that is a meter with, a, uh, 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 with length equal to 1 meter. Ngayon, may historical significance yan. Kasi apparently, nung... Um, nung no no kino conceive yung idea ng metric system kasi nga 2 seconds no it's almost 2 seconds ibig sabihin if you have a a, a pendulum um that's 1 meter long yung length niya ay yung yung period it takes for it to return is 2 seconds and therefore yung half period niya 1 second 1 second 1 second and therefore originally the second is defined so such that uh the it is the period of uh it's the half period of a simple pendulum that um that uh, has a measure of the that has a length of 1 meter so ganun siya define of course ngayon hindi naman yun totoo kasi alam natin na ang g nagbabago diba clear ba yun it is clear Okay, so there is some historical significance to. Okay, also the grandfather clocks are also have uh, lengths that are um, almost in the range of um, uh, in the given range. Okay, now what about the what about the frequency? The frequency is equal to just simply one over t, and what you just need to do is one over two point zero zero seven seconds, which is uh, which gives us the frequency is about point four nine eight hertz. Okay, Mal Mali now. Is this clear? Mali na to? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, ganun lang mag-solve, plug and play, kung paano maghanap ng frequency ng simple pendulum. Okay? Sige.